Murray, why is it any time anything good happens in our lives, you have to go and find the most minor detail to harp on to make ugly? Really? You want to go there? Yes. All right. Your speech, Malcolm. Oh, give me a break. When I said you will find the most minor detail and make ugly, I meant it. You forgot to thank me, Malcolm. That's not a minor detail. That's a big one. Well, I've thanked you a million times before. And you know that I'm appreciative of you. And you know that I made a mistake. So why turn this into something more? Because it is more. It's our entire relationship in a nutshell. You can't be serious. I'm dead serious. You're insane. It's insane to think that me forgetting to thank you is symbolic of anything other than me legitimately forgetting to thank you. Malcolm, you thanked a hundred people tonight, okay? You thanked your mother, your agents, your third grade teacher, the usher that worked at the theater when you were 12 years old. No need to be sarcastic and petty about it, okay, Marie? Look, I'm genuinely sorry. Which is why I apologized to you a thousand times during the movie. In fact, I felt so guilty. I couldn't even concentrate on the movie. Well, that's a shame. You've only seen it 7,000 times. But each time I leaned over and said sorry, you said, it's fine. You squeezed my hand and said, it's fine. Well, Malcolm, I've changed my mind. How can you just change your mind? Honestly, it's pretty easy, Malcolm. Because at the cinema, it didn't matter. It was fine. But at the after party, when everyone kept on coming up to me and going, you know, I bet you're upset right now because he forgot to thank you. Marie, I'm really sorry. I know that, Malcolm. But it's not just about you forgetting to thank me. It's about how you see me. I genuinely think you're unstable. I'm actually concerned for your mental well-being. 